look what we have here. A very dirty, non-working uh, Asteroids Cabaret. I actually just did a whole video of this, and then I realized that <laughs> I had stopped it, like, part way in, and I just figured I'd reshoot it. Uh, very long story, very short, because I'm actually supposed to be at work right now, and i got to get back there. I uh, really wasn't looking for anything. I hurt my neck this summer. That's why no videos, no projects, like I said. I had a pinched neck. They call a cervical radiculopathy. Say that three times fast. Couldn't do anything with the cars. Really didn't feel like bending over and inside arcade and pinball machines. So I just took a break. Uh, not to mention, too, I really didn't have all that much money to spend on, on hobby stuff this time around. We did a lot of trips and everything else, which is more important, quite frankly, than arcade stuff. Had a good time. But anyway, I'm sitting there at, uh, at work. I'd sit down, and just as a matter of course, even if I'm not really looking for anything, like many of you, I'm sure, I'll browse the uh, the local Facebook marketplace, the Leco, eBay, Craigslist, yada, yada, yada. And uh, this popped up in a town uh, just about 20 minutes north of me, where I live. I messaged the seller, right? It had already been up for like 10, 11 hours, so I'm figuring, eh, you know, the way things are these days, this thing's probably gone. I messaged the seller. I say, hey. I'm interested to see this thing, you know, uh, if you still have it, I'm 20 minutes away from you, can I come look at it? And she goes, yeah, you know what, I'm not home, but my brother is, if you want to go, uh, head over there now, he's there. So I go, have a nice conversation with the brother, and um, lo and behold, I, they just kind of gave it to me, which is kind of nice. Uh, the story of this is, the father won it in a dart game, in a bar, uh, in the mid to late 80s. And he brought it home, and the family played it. One day it stopped working, uh, they unplugged it, shoved it in a corner. About 15 years ago, the brother went to plug it in again to see if anything had changed, still didn't work. So they shoved it in a corner and there it sat ever since until today when they're, uh, they, they just sold the house and they're cleaning it out because the, uh, the new owner's got to occupy it in, a, in about a week. And uh, yeah, and I was happy to help with the clean out because this is what I got. So uh, like I said, it doesn't work. It's been sitting for a long time. It's very dirty, very dirty, as you can see. And it's in good shape. I mean, for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, the only thing, as you can see, obviously, if you have a good eye for this stuff, is the bottom is swollen, right? Kind of reminiscent of our um, our, uh, our Rally X cabinet, if you remember, right? There's leg levelers on this, but they kind of broke off, so it kind of sat on the concrete. The basement was dry, but Anytime you sit one of these things on concrete, there's always going to be a little bit of moisture and things like this are going to happen. Now, I was thinking, ah, I'll just, you know, I'll sand it, fix it up, and I'll just strip the vinyl off this and put new vinyl or, or uh, laminate on. But the vinyl on both sides is in really, really nice shape. And it would be a real shame to, add, to rip this all off. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, is I'll carefully sand, point with my nice toe here, the insides of this, tape everything off, Give it a little sand on that little lip if we can, carefully. Paint it up. That side's definitely worse. All right. We'll try to mitigate that a little bit. Um, and then uh, paint it to new team molding, probably. That's, I have tons of team molding. And then you know what? I think we're going to stick some corner protectors. We'll, we'll kind of like clean up the bottom a little bit. Put some corner protectors on all four sides. Maybe get a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of uh, like metal aluminum trim, paint it black, stick it on there, uh, because there's no reason for me to destroy 97% of this nice laminate. And the other side is just as good. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking to reinvent the wheel here. I'm not looking to over improve this either, you know. Uh, other than that, it's good. You know, a little bit of rust here where people's wrists were playing. It's got about 85,000 plays on the coin counter. You know, this is from, what, 79, 80, 81, maybe? I'm not really sure, quite frankly. I don't have a backdoor key. Uh, however, this is unlocked, so we can just pull this open. Boom, there we go. No key hanging out here. It's a barrel lock, like the front. But I can just get up there and, and undo that from in here, so that won't be a big deal. A little bit of a stretch, but everything's here. Uh, the monitor's up there, XY monitor, old one. Uh, power supply, PCB, I'm sure a lot of this stuff needs to be recapped and to, uh, you know, to be gone over, which we'll do. Original nice back door sheet right there, which is nice. It's very cool. God knows what little uh, goodies are on the bottom of the cabinet. I always like finding little little hidden goodies, you know, old quarters and toys and other, other stuff. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, this is in good shape too. I mean, you know, a little dented, you know, these are a little rusty, obviously lack down bar, but you know, when everything is as nice as it is, cause this is all, this is all gonna clean up. It's a little, little bit of surface mold here, which will come off without too much trouble. Hence why it's in the shed, not in my basement yet. Uh, these, you know what? I'm just gonna get big black bolts, paint them, or big silver bolts, paint them black and kind of plug the holes on either side. I'm not looking to start patching and repainting everything. It's in good shape. It needs to be cleaned up for sure, but it's in good shape. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit for you. You know, our nice coin buttons, all right? They're all clicking. Everything looks like it's fairly responsive. These bolts, this needs to be cleaned for sure. A little bit of magic eraser or whatever. That really needs to be cleaned, good God. I couldn't even tell if there was a monitor in it still. I was. I had to go and, and look and feel up and around the back to see if it was there. Uh, yeah, but with some cleaning, this is going to be nice. Even the top and the bottom, the top and the back here. All right, this is all in good shape. All right, look at that. So uh, I won't do it with you, but I did plug it in. I didn't plug it in the seller at the seller's house, or in this case, the donator's house or the giver's house. I uh, I plugged it in when I got home in the last video when I thought I was recording. And uh, I plugged it in, and I went to turn on the power switch. The power switch is all loosey-goosey and broken. So I'm guessing, wondering, maybe, conjecturing that we just have a bad power switch, which I'm sure there's going to be more to it. That's always my luck anyway. But uh, maybe we have a bad power switch in there. And maybe, uh, maybe that'll be it. But first things first is the cleaning. That's it for now. Sorry if it was a little long-winded, but uh, I just wanted to show this to you that, yes, I haven't forgotten. I do like making videos. The whole, you know, the four or five people who watch them will be very happy with this. Another project is coming. Probably some electronic repair and stuff, which I know a lot of people like when I do. Great, thanks. And for now, I got to get my ass back to work. So look forward to this. Yay, happy. Uh, hope everyone's having a good back-to-school, good September, and we'll check back in soon. Thanks.